Hey guys, Rick Seitz here with Blue Oval Muscle. We're out here at FJ Performance in Export, Pennsylvania to baseline test our 2001 Mustang GT convertible for Blue Oval Muscle. Um, it's a brand, well it's not brand new, God, it's eight, almost uh, almost 18 years old, it has 142,000 miles on it, but it's bone stock. It's an automatic 01 GT, you know, 4.6, two valve car, has zero modifications to it so far. It's, uh, you know, stock paper air filter, stock intake, stock exhaust, stock, stock, stock. There's nothing done to this car. Um, we just pulled it in, backed it on the uh, Dino Jet rollers behind me. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's the car. And we're going to strap it down and see what kind of numbers it pulls. Uh, we just drove an hour and an hour and 45 minutes to get here. Uh, so it's, our car is probably a little warm right now. Uh, I think we're going to let it cool down for a little bit. And then uh, we'll make some uh, runs. And then we'll see what she does. All right. Keep you posted. Okay guys, so we just made a few dyno pulls on with this car on the Dino Jet FJ Performance. I'm standing here with Fran Johns, the owner and operator of this fine establishment, and he's going to kind of break down the numbers and what we're looking at as far as uh, what kind of issues we dealt with, uh, with through the run. There's, there's a couple little issues he's going to uh, elaborate on, but I'll just let him do that for you guys real quick. So go ahead, Fran, tell us what we're looking at. All right, Rick, so what we got here is the car made about 210, 245 foot-pounds of torque. Okay. You know, on average, there. these are third gear pulls. Sure. Um, since we don't have a programmer, we can't necessarily hold it into third gear, so we had to punch it a little bit late. Okay. Um, these runs all started around 80 miles an hour. Okay. And just went all the way out the red line. Gotcha. Um, that is with overdrive off. Okay. Now, what we were seeing here is this green pull, you see it go up and down quite a bit here right at the initial hit. And we saw that on quite a couple runs. Okay. Um, now that could be a sign of some spark detonation. But okay. the other thing that we noticed that was happening is at the same time as this was going on, is the alternator light was flashing on and off. So that may be something that we need to look into. Okay. Uh, the spark knock might be attributed to a loss of voltage in the system. Sure. Um, so besides that, I mean, thing seems pretty consistent. Okay. Um, for a hundred and almost 50,000 mile car, like these numbers are actually really, really good. Sure. Um, and I'm pretty happy with them. Sure. And I think you got a decent decent platform here to start with. Awesome, man. So it looks like we made a peak at 211 and 247. So 211 horse, 247 pound for the torque at the wheels. Again, on a bone stock, you know, two valve. You can't yeah. really expect too much more than that. Yeah, automatic. You Especially know I mean? with, with the age of the car and the mileage yeah. that's on it. Yeah, like I said, it was, it was uh, 142,000 and, you know, 201, so it's, you know, 17, 18 years old. So. I mean, we can't complain too much. I mean, I, I did some research and pulled up some old numbers from back in the day. It's some old uh, magazine tests back in you know, 2000 or 102, and that's not too far off of what they pulled on a brand new car, you know. So I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, there, there, there's there's room for improvement, definitely. You know, we'll see if there's any kind of issues we can resolve between now and then. And But uh, we'll throw some pull downs on this thing, do some tuning next time, and uh, see what we can get out of this car. So next time. See you guys. All right. Take care.